I would bet my entire YouTube channel that you're currently watching this video on YouTube. How do I know that? Because I don't publish these videos anywhere else in the world. So make sure to subscribe because this is the place to be. But with that being said, there's a lot of secrets that we need to uncover on this website that we call home, YouTube, made by Google, owned by Alphabet. What else is there? And so today I will be searching far and wide for the coolest YouTube secrets I could find. There's also some really cool other websites that we're going to take a look at afterwards, but here we go. All right, so the first secret we're going to uncover is that if you type in too many cooks into the search bar, then there's a video, yeah, this is it, that pops up from Adult Swim eight years ago with 24 million views, and watch this. You click on the video, it is the only video on YouTube that has a different font and color than any other video. So if you go to like a typical video, so let's say we go to like this bear, it's gonna be the same font, unedited footage of a bear, and that's it. But if you go back to too many cooks, for some reason, and nobody knows why, it's in this yellow weird font. And it doesn't look like anybody is even aware of what they're looking at. Like this is greatness on YouTube. This is one of the maybe 15 total Easter eggs across the website. And there it is right there. All right, so this is interesting. So I went to highlight this to go to the next one. And the next thing I was gonna look up is 301 views and because of YouTube's predictions, they know what I was going to do, which is wild. I guess it's because people like are kind of bouncing from Easter egg to Easter egg, so it kind of makes sense. But nonetheless, let's do this. So there used to be a thing on YouTube where everything used to freeze at around 301 views. And the reason for this is because YouTube would take some time to verify that the views were legit before they ended up pushing out all these views to the public. And so there was a video made by Numberphile 11 years ago called Why Do YouTube Views Freeze at 301? And YouTube actually freezed his number of views at 301. 301. And so to this day, it's the only video on YouTube that is still frozen at 301. So you'll see 301 views, yet it has almost 300,000 comments, 3.6 million likes. I would estimate that this video has something close to like 30 million views. It's just impossible to tell. But this one is an absolute Easter egg because this one is like frozen in time, which of course is pretty cool. All right. So technically you don't have to watch a Sambucha video to do this, but I'm going to use it as an example. So if you're just watching a video on your PC, you have your mouse in front of you and you type in the word awesome, A-W-E-S-O-M-E, -E, you'll see that the progress bar, this is a long video, so it's going to go slow, but it starts to become rainbow and it starts glitching out. So I guess maybe we'll throw in like a warning for people who are like photosensitive, but the bar just becomes like da 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 da, -da. And then if you type it in again, A-W-E-S-O-M-E, -E, it goes back to normal. So red, and then it's party time. And you can go back and forth by typing in literally the word awesome. So YouTube's actually, why is he pointing at me? Why, what is it? I don't like this guy. Stop pointing at me. It's so meta. Okay, I'm done with this. All right, next up is a channel called Web Drive Torso, Web Driver Torso. It has 230,000 subscribers. And what's interesting is it has 624,000 videos. Apparently there used to be a point where every couple of seconds it would upload a video. And these videos had random file types. If you just click into the videos, they're just like a bunch of bars. It's just nonsense. But if you sort them by their most popular, you'll notice that they actually have a few random normal videos on this channel. Like there's this video of just like the Eiffel Tower flashing at night, which I think is illegal, by the way. Did I just show like a felony? Regardless, act like you didn't see that. And then they also have some videos like this one, which is a Rick Roll in their form. And now you may be like, oh, whatever. What is, what am I even looking at? This was confirmed by YouTube in an article, which we could pull it up, that they actually run this channel as one of their test channels. And so that's the reason why they were just putting out a bunch of stuff because they basically wanted to test certain features at the time. They haven't uploaded in a while. It's been two months and I think they kind of let go of this channel, but they've been a bit steadier. I mean, they took a big two year gap to work on their mental health, but it seems like they're kind of back, but they're just taking a slower burn, which is fine. I appreciate it. All right. So you guys are aware of youtube.com, but are you aware of youtube.com slash new? Because if you type in slash new, you get taken to this website. And basically if you're a premium member for YouTube, you basically have access to new features. So right now there's no features available. This is just the worst timing possible because usually there's a bunch. But if you type in youtube.com slash new during a time when there's features, you're able to kind of access them immediately. So if you're like, oh, how did they get access to this? Why does this channel have this? And this channel doesn't have it. It's because they probably went to youtube.com slash new and enabled it on their channel. Pretty cool Easter egg. Kind of annoying they have to search around for it, but it is what it is. All right. Another one of the most interesting videos on the platform is Seinfeld without people. And what do you notice right away? There is no title on the video. So it's the only video on YouTube that doesn't have a title. Not only that, 
that. The video also doesn't have a description. You are required by YouTube to put in a title and a description, and this has neither. It doesn't even have a space. You may be thinking, oh, the title is just a space. That's how they get around it. There's nothing to highlight here. There is no characters on this screen whatsoever. It is all just voided. There is nothing here, making it one of the most interesting videos to ever be put on YouTube. Which brings me to the next video, which is me at the zoo. So a lot of you guys are probably familiar with this. This is Joed. He was one of the co-founders of Google, and this is the first video ever on YouTube. And it's the co-founder Joed at a zoo recording himself speaking, showing the elephants behind him. He has since gained 4 million subscribers and 288 million views. And this video, as you can see, was posted 18 years ago, which is probably older, I would wager, than half of the people watching this. So if this video is older than you, just let me know. Be like, I can't go to the zoo. So then I know whether or not you guys are probably too young to watch these videos. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so another cool thing is if you go to youtube.com slash robots text, which is basically like a developer sort of backend text that pops up for most websites. If you do it for YouTube and you read this right here. All right. So the robots text says created in the distant future, the year 2000 or after. That's totally true. The robots correct. And the robotic uprising of the mid nineties, which wiped out all humans. So if you were born in the mid nineties, there's a chance that you're a robot because all humans were wiped out apparently, according to the source code for YouTube. Uh, then there's like a bunch of like disallows and stuff like this and that. I don't know what any of this means. Maybe if there's somebody smarter than me, you guys can definitely let us know. But it it is what it is. And that's that's it. There's the site map as well. So if you want to go to the site map for YouTube and there's just a bunch of things. So there's YouTube kids, YouTube trends, YouTube jobs, YouTube creators, this, that, bam, originals. You'll see everything on there. It's not really that interesting to go through. It's just more interesting to know that it exists. All right. So back on the platform now. And if you type in Technoblade, rest in peace, YouTube will automatically say Technoblade never dies, which if you don't know who this is, it was a Minecraft creator. He was beloved, massive, right? Like huge following. Really Really important in like all those SMPs and in that universe. He passed away uh, last year and there was a thing like, oh, Technoblade never dies. And so like YouTube now auto corrects like, oh, of course you mean Technoblade never dies. So it's like their tribute to Technoblade, who's one of their most popular creators. Pretty cool. Pretty nice of YouTube to do that, but that still exists. You could type it in and try it. All right. Going back to another Sambucha video because I am, I guess, a narcissist. But if you right click a video on your computer, you can actually see stats for nerds. YouTube writes that out. I'm not joking about this. If you right click the current video you're watching, you can see stats for nerds and it literally pulls up stats for nerds. I like, I don't know who needs to know the video ID, the viewport, the frames, the optimal resolution, the volume, the codex, like none of this really matters. I mean, I guess you could see certain things. Hopefully you can't see my IP address. Okay. You can't. So this is all good. But yeah, if you're a nerd, YouTube makes some stats for you, which I think is, is extremely nice of them. So do with that what you'd like. All right. So if you guys are watching YouTube on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, or YouTube TV, if you you hold the rewind like the left button on like a gamepad thumbstick or like just left on a keyboard for a few seconds while you're at the beginning of a video this will cause an animated image of like this small dog running across the video's progress bar so go ahead and try it out as you can see on this screen i mean i'm on a computer right now so it's impossible for me to do but hopefully there's b-roll that kind of supports what i'm saying try it let me know if it works okay so this one i recently found is not a youtube secret it's a google secret which i still think is pretty cool if you type in cha-cha slide click enter and then you click on this microphone Phone, the sparkling one. Look what it does. We're going to have some fun right now. All right, so here we go. I think that's cool. <laughs> I think that's the coolest thing that I've ever seen on any website, any platform, period. So shout out to you guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's one more really cool Easter egg that YouTube implemented. I think they started this like pretty recently, maybe last year. But if you click subscribe specifically on my channel, it helps me out a lot. And it's really cool because then that number, it goes up. So like if everybody watching this video clicked subscribe, it would go to like 6.32M. And 
numbers are cool and it costs nothing. So I think it's a pretty good trade-off. I don't know. All right, that's my call to action for the video. You won't be hearing from me again. All right, so now that we looked at all the secrets, now we're going to get a download on some of the most interesting facts about the website so you guys know exactly what's going on on the website that you're operating on. All right, so YouTube was launched on Valentine's Day, like I said, by that guy, Jawed. Remember me at the zoo? This is him, the co-founder. He posted the first video a little over two months later. So it was 2005 Valentine's Day because it was a dating site, which I'm sure we're going to get to. Aha, YouTube was originally a dating site. YouTube began as TuneIn Hookup. That's a really good trivia thing to know. It was called TuneIn Hookup, which was modeled after the popular Hot or Not show at the time. So it was basically like Tinder. Tinder stole from YouTube. So people basically get married because YouTube existed. Does that make sense? All right, Google currently owns YouTube. I'm sure everybody knows that. 2.6 billion users. So if you think you're special because you're watching this video, just know you're not. Well, you are in your own way, but on this website, there's a lot of people. 2.6 billion. It's an unfathomable amount of people that watch YouTube. All right, so as of May 2022, YouTube is banned in China, Iran, North Korea, South Sudan, and Turkmenistan. If you're watching from one of these countries, I'm assuming you have a VPN. You don't have to let it be known because you probably want to keep it low key, but just write me a little like, hey, Sam, I'm here. And then I'll know that you're from one of these countries, which could be nice. All right, they're mentioning how Baby Shark is the most viewed video to ever exist on YouTube. It has over 10 billion views. I think that number is now like 12 billion views because this article was written last year. Somebody could fact check me on that. I think it's like 12.5 billion views, which is more than the population of the earth. And I think for something to count as a view, it has to be more than three or four seconds. So that means 12 billion people heard. Do, 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 do. Interestingly, Avril Lavigne was the first artist to reach 100 million views. Gangnam Style was the first to reach a billion. Nobody likes YouTube Rewind, which everybody's aware of. It has 19 million dislikes before they disabled the dislikes. So the maximum upload limit for a YouTube video is 12 hours. Is that true? I feel like I've not watched, but I've seen a video pop up that was more than 12 hours. Lego is the most popular brand channel. Wow, that's an interesting fact. T-Series has the most, but Mr. Beast is projected to pass them sometime next year. I think he's going to have like 300 million by the end of next year, which is wild. And this just shows how popular just Google is in the world. So Google is the most popular website. And then second is YouTube. So basically Alphabet, the umbrella company for everybody, has the most access to people in the entire world. It's just an incredible behemoth. All right, moving on from YouTube secrets, there's actually some cool YouTube metadata that we're going to take a look at. I saw this from Vsauce, who happens to be the greatest YouTuber on this platform. He made a video in which he showed that MIT made something called the Pantheon, which basically ranks people's fame. So you could see the most famous people across any category ever based on a lot of holistic data. So for instance, memorable people over the last, it looks like 5,500 years, Muhammad the prophet is gonna be number one, followed by Newton, Jesus, Genghis Khan, Da Vinci, Aristotle, Plato, Ludwig van Beethoven, Marco Polo, and Alexander the Great. You can go on and on so you could search as many people as you want. They show up to 2,047 people. Like, let's see who's last on this list, for instance. I wanna go to the final page. The last possible person on this list is Koki Naji from Japan, who is just, she's not popular. Let's be frank. If you're 102,000th on this list, you're not that popular. So these are people who are, I guess, somewhat popular as far as like the last 5,000 years, but they're still like the least of that group. So it's pretty cool, right? And so they did this across multiple occupations, including YouTube. So you can go ahead and type in YouTuber and you could see like the most popular YouTuber ever, memorable YouTubers would be PewDiePie followed by Logan Paul. Those are the top two YouTubers of all time, bar none. Then you have Remy Gaillard. And then this is where it gets interesting. You have Charlie D'Amelio, which obviously she's a TikToker, not a YouTuber, but I guess because of just her awareness, she's super high, Dancing with the Stars too. Angry Grandpa, Shane Dawson, Sihari Sikhanowski from Belarus, Mr. Beast, Liza Koshi, Pat Condell. Like, I don't know three of the people on this list. I don't know who this Sihari is. I don't know who Pat Condell is. And I barely really know who Ang Angry Grandpa is. I know like his meme face, but that's kind of it. And going down, you have Shroud, Josh Peck, Jake Paul, Dream, Markiplier, Zach King, KSI, Jacksepticeye, Paul Joseph Watt, Watson, Linus, Jenna Marbles, Michael Stevens, and it, it ends at number 47. So unfortunately, we don't see Sambucha on here, but you know, give me some time. Maybe I can creep my way on this list. I think I could get here. I think with a long enough timeline, I think it's possible to get on here. Like if I were to really just like try my hardest over the next 20 years, I think maybe I can make an appearance on this list. Or you just break it down by males only. But yeah, they only kind of for YouTubers just put it out to like top 50 lists. But let's say you want to see, oh, who's like the most 
popular celebrity. And if you're doing the most popular celebrity, it would be Otzi. See, like Lisa Del Giocondo. At first, you're like, who is that? It's the Mona Lisa. Like, she's technically more popular in terms of her celebrity status than like a Kim Kardashian or whoever you want to say. Like, who's the first? Yeah, like Kim Kardashian's number 31 on, on this list. Who's like another person who everyone's aware of? Monica Lewinsky, that's the one with Bill Clinton. Like, who is Otzi? I'm gonna have to look up this Otzi guy. Oh. Okay, so Otzi is also called the Iceman. Like, it's like it's like King Tut's mummy. Like, everybody's looked at him technically. So he's like the most famous. Like, everyone's like, oh, I've seen that. I haven't seen this. Um, Some other things they have. We can go to, like, the most famous model of all time. Isabel Rosalini. Uh, why did I act like I was going to know these models? I don't know any of these models. Let's look at the most popular sports players ever. So you have Muhammad Ali, Pele, Johan Krio, Frank Puskas, Diego Maradona, Lev Yashin. Gerd Muller, Alex Ferguson. All right, where's like Ronaldo? You'd think he'd be a little higher, no? Okay, so Michael Jordan is the first recognizable modern athlete. There's Cristiano Ronaldo, and then Lionel Messi is number 50. If we're just looking modern day, so like, let's say we just want to look from, I don't know, 1980 and beyond, then it would be Ronaldo, Messi, Novak Djokovic, Ronaldinho, Slotin, Roger Federer. Who is Xavi? Uh, I feel weird not knowing who that is. I feel like I should. You also notice that none of these people are from the United United States. Actually, the first United States athlete is Serena Williams, which I kind of find that a little bit hard to believe. Like, how is she more popular than LeBron James? Or Michael Phelps. I mean, like, Olympic god. Like, how is he not higher up? If we're looking at the most popular people from every country, I mean, there. So right here, you can have a look. You could see as we pass your country. Let me know if you see uh, anybody. Like, United States, we have James Harden, Ronda Rousey, and Clay Thompson. I guess that's just for LA. But yeah. And then just by country, Serena Williams, LeBron James, Venus Williams. So no politicians, I guess. You would think there would be a politician. Like you'd think that Donald Trump would be higher up, but I guess not. Oh, I'm still on only sports. So if we go to all occupations, Mark Zuckerberg, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears. Ah, uh, interesting. And that's over the last 50-ish years. Makes sense. Naomi Osaka, Kaisuke, Kaisuke Honda. I guess he's the one who created Honda. But yeah, there's a lot of cool uh, information on here. All right, they also have some cool games on the website, like who was born first. It's called Birth. So you have to guess the correct order. So I don't know the correct order. I think that Chris Pratt, Pedro Pascal, Taron Egerton, Leo, Keanu Reeves. Okay, I was completely wrong. All right, let's try the reverse, I guess. Reeves, DiCaprio, Pascal, Bam, Pratt. Okay, so I got them right. So Keanu Reeves is the youngest, then Leo. Then we have Pedro Pascal. Then we have Chris Pratt. And then we have this dude. All right, I got it. Wow, I did not realize that Keanu Reeves was that old. Keanu Reeves is 60 years old and he's still John Wick. It's incredible. Another thing you could play is trivia. So like Glenn Miller was a musician. Roger Waters was born in the UK. This actress was born in Italy. Like, I don't know. If you want to get smarter, you can basically do the trivia. But instead of getting smarter, I think it's worth getting a bit dumber because we're going to play the moron test. It's actually called the idiot test, but they mark it as the moron test. Um, okay, so let's do this. Simply click on the square to begin. Hint, the square is blue. Uh, okay. Press the big red button to continue. Uh, every All signs would point to this. Press the rectangle to continue. This looks like a rectangle to me, right? Square has all equal sides, that one doesn't. Press the red button twice, then the green button once. So one, two, green. Now we have blue three times, orange four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Way to go, you passed the first level. Now I'm, okay. Well, to continue, press the picture of a cat. So this cat. Press the up arrow once and down arrow twice. One, two, three. Rectangle twice. One, you have to take your time. Two, don't press the red button. I'm not going to. I have all day. Great. To continue, press the X. Press the yellow button once, then the blue, then the yellow. So yellow, blue, yellow. Yellow, blue, yellow. Cool. Okay, I got it. You can now consider yourself average. Great. Press the smallest red button. That would be this guy right here, I believe. Press the lightest blue squ square. Mm-hmm. This guy, right? Is this a square? No. Okay, I have to restart. I'll get back. Okay. Press the square twice. We got back. One, two. Don't press the green button. I won't, but I'm fully, I'm paying attention now. So I will not be caught slipping again. I'm kind of smart. Press the green button to continue. Press the number four to continue. Hit the oval. Red circle, blue triangle. Red circle, blue triangle. And then green rectangle twice. I'm smart, apparently. So to continue, press the green circle, sure thing. 
Don't press the blue button. Okay, press the yellow square to continue. Oh my gosh. Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. All right, blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, one, two, three, four. Yes! All right, I passed the idiot test. That means I am brilliant. Way to go. Wow, that's nice. Makes me feel good. Coming soon, November to December 2006, which is actually right now. We just fast forwarded. So right now I'm a complete idiot. Uh, Click on the number one, sure. Number four, sure. Rectangle, sure. Press the blue button. Happy face, happy, happy face, happy. Sad faces to continue. One, sad face, okay. Picture of the dog, perfect. Pre press the circle. Press the square twice, one, two. What is this? Happy face. Two plus two, four. Way to go, you're not an idiot, great. Square to continue, click the number one twice, one, two. Type cat, cat, then press okay. Good, I did it. I'm not, now I'm stupid, I'm not an idiot. Triangular prism, here we go. Don't click anything, I won't. That's shaped like an R. I like grapes. I like grapes. Okay, click on the grapes, I do. Press the circle, okay, now I'm dumb. I'm moving up. To continue, press the biggest X. There we go. Quick, don't press the button. Good, now I'm average. Happy face, and then the number four twice. One, one, one. Press the triangle, quick. So triangle, rectangle, circle. Triangle, rectangle, circle. Now I'm smart. The biggest number four is you. Smallest, largest, smallest. Smallest, largest, smallest. Square, circle, four. Three, one, two. Square, circle, four. Square, circle, four. Square, circle, and then four. I'm crazy smart, let's go. Why am I like taking this so seriously? Like I need to pass this. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. So we got 21, 42, and we have happy, sad, square, four. Happy, sad, square, and then four. Yes! Whew. So I'm some sort of super genius because I didn't write it down. So that makes me feel good about myself. I like the way that this game makes me feel. And you know what? Maybe in the future, I will play this game again. But for now, I'm not an idiot. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here or click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out and I will see you next time. Peace.